All right, so we've got the new LZ0 coming out for the Duramax Diesel 3.0. The LM2 is out. There's some speculation going on because GM just doesn't have any info out there yet. But this is like fresh breaking news and I'm all over this because I love the LM2 engine and I can't wait to see what they do to change it. Uh, so some speculation here from Tim from Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I've watched his videos, knowledgeable guy. I respect how his opinion on things. And he brought up how the Z71 uh, had some fitment issues, the Z71 Suburban and Tahoe's. So I believe that there will be some cooling changes on that. So that way they could provide better fitment on there. If you haven't seen his videos, go check them out because there's a lot of information on there. But my speculation here is Motor Trend put out an article in April 22nd of 2020 about Tula Technologies and their diesel dynamic skip fire. Uh, it talks about the 3.0 getting it in the future. Um, it's basically a collapsible hydraulic valve tap it or lifter, however you want to call it. Um, but they're going to do deactivation in this new LZ0 engine, I think. So I think that's what this changes. It's going to have some minor stuff in there, but then it's going to have the cylinder deactivation. So if you're on the fence about, do I want to continue my order of a 22 with the LM2 or do I want to wait for the 23? That's a tough call right now. But with the new technology of the lifters and all that, I'm, I'm not on board with the, the whole lifters, the dynamic fuel situation with the 5.3 6.2 gas engines right now those things are failing left and right now this 3.0 will be completely different it's not going to share the same lifters but i don't want to like scare people by any means but this whole hydraulic lifter deactivation thing i'm not on board with this i'm not i'm not believing it there's a lot of failures with that so the lm2 guys might have the engines to get if you look back at the duramax when it first started the 6.6 you had the LB7 that had injector problems, and then they went to the LOI. The LOI was a step up in power, just everything. The injectors were better. So this very well could be. The LZ0 could be like a bigger performance increase. We could have a turbo change. We could have the sky's the limit. And I'm all over trying to find information on it, but I believe it's going to be cylinder deactivation, and it's going to be really interesting in a diesel. I don't know of any other diesels that are running cylinder deactivation, so keep your eyes out. Um, let me know what you think about this whole idea. Are you like me, skeptical? Um, is it a big, big deal? Is it gonna be awesome? I mean, I guess the sky's the limit on this one, but it's super cool. 23 is gonna get this new engine. 22 is the refresh just came out and we're already flipping it over. They're gonna start building these 23 trucks on August 29th. So that's right around the corner. Um, I can't wait to get more information on this and I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout. So stay tuned for more.